Hello, my name is Craig J. Davis and welcome to my channel. I'm still here at the hospital, this is part two. This tie is freaking awesome. This, apart from the Welsh flag, this is the best tie in the world like ever. Anyway, what's the point I'm trying to get across? Yeah. My dad has just come out, the n a n a nurse wheeled him out. That's right, you heard correctly, wheeled him out. He's in a wheelchair, can't walk. Since the second stroke, he can't walk. But the good news is, he's compass apprentice, right? He is all there upstairs. He can still speak, you know, he's aware. He, 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 so he isn't oblivious to what's going on around him. He's aware, uh, you know, so he's aware of his surroundings, blah, blah, blah. But physically, no, nah, he's gone. Physically, no, nah, can't walk. Lost the use of his legs. That's because the signals from his brain to his legs have been severed due to the stroke. He's been telling me that his conscience is screaming. Right, that's just a figure of speech, but he's been saying that his conscience is screaming because. He wants to uh, move his legs. He is trying, but he can't. But, so you know, so his brain is like saying, what the hell is going on here? But um, he's been having physio. Fucking hell, pardon my friends, but you know. In a way, I don't recognize him because ever since I've uh, known um, my father grown up, he's always been active, always been out and about, always be able to do things. And he's gone from that to being a... Forgive me if this it doesn't sound political correct, but I don't care. He's gone from being active, being fit, to being uh, going out and about, to being a oh, bloody seagulls. I'm cursed. I'm convinced that, that those things follow me. I am. I am convinced of that. Anyway, point I'm trying to get across is my father has gone from being active to being social, to being out and ab to being out and about, able to run up and down the stairs at, at like a two-year-old, to being a to being a a, a decrepit cripple. Here we are. Just go to show how much things can change in it, and instantly as well. But I tell you what, he was perfectly fine until he had the injections. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. And then now he's in the hospital and he's 24 hour care. He, um, I'm not going to be too personal, but I'm just going to say he's 24 hour care basically. But I tell you this if I ever end up like that, shoot me. Honestly. 
It's just possible I could end up uh, uh, like that because you, you know what they say, don't you? And uh, like father, like son. Or as I always say, the son becomes the father, the father becomes the ass. But yeah, I just saw the nurse now just wheeling back in the hospital. And I. Yeah, I shouldn't laugh, I know that, but it's a corporate mechanism, isn't it? If I didn't laugh, I'd cry. I really wish Rockin' Roberta was still with us. Because if she sees, if she ever, if she ever saw this video, which of course she never will because she's uh, six feet under. But if she ever got to see this video, she would know exactly what to, to, to say. She knew what words to say and use at the right time to comfort someone. And now I don't even have her. All I have is a, a God of my Christian faith. You know, just see, just, just the, the nurse just seeing him being wheeled back into the entrance. He's there, look, see? That's the entrance. And it was, it was someone I didn't recognise. The human ma ma a mind is a funny thing, isn't it? It can be a blessing or it can be a curse. It can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Never underestimate the power of the human mind, people! I need a pint. I see if she need a pint. I tell her I could murder a pint of beer. Oh. But as I said in part one, I can't because I'm working too. I'm, I'm up early. Never drink on a school night. I've learned that the hard way. There's nothing worse than going into. There's nothing worse than going into a work with it. Look at this tie. Sorry, sorry. There's nothing worse than going into work with a severe hangover. Because you can't function properly and you're still reeking of alcohol. Oh, Christ. Right, that's all I have to say. Um, please comment, please subscribe if any of you can relate to this with everything I've just said. Then please don't hesitate to leave your comments in the comment section below. Uh, thank you all and stay, stay tuned for this Sunday for this Sunday's sermon it's gonna be epic right thank you all and God bless